The Cambridge and District Humane Society helps care for more than 3,000 animals every year from Cambridge and all over Ontario. Citizens of Cambridge and Waterloo Region open their hearts to many of our four-legged friends, providing loving forever homes. Our programs are diverse, but here are just a few of the things that we do. We visit approximately 4,000 students from kindergarten to grade eight each year, teaching students how important it is to respect animals, how to be responsible pet owners, and how to prevent getting bitten. Our educators, retired school teachers, are busy. This year, Nancy has begun taking RAS into nursing homes. Do that. I'm sure you could do that little trick, couldn't you? Here, put your front feet up. Put your front feet up. You do it all the time. There we go. <laughs> there we go. That's it. Um, the program here that I do with the dogs, I have two dogs. I have Capri and Raz. Raz is actually Capri's mother. And they're both um, therapy dogs. And they have they've been child tested, so they're really, really good with kids but they love to come into the seniors' homes and we visit here at Fairview. We also visit at Golden Years Nursing Home and we go into uh, Coronation School and a couple of the other schools in the area to do a reading program um, and the dogs basically help the kids by listening to them read books and it gives them a little bit of confidence and um, the kids love it and the, the dogs absolutely get a big kick out of, of mingling with the kids. They, um, they look forward to, to visiting every week and when I, as soon as I put their, their bandanas on and they know that they're ready to go, they get quite excited. And uh, of course they get treats here and they get petted and, and it's, it's just fun for them to do. Uh, a lot of the residents I think are, are really glad to see them because they've had dogs in the past and they've had to get rid of their dogs and it, sometimes it's a it's a very emotional experience for them and I have two or three of them that uh, you know you can see that how much they the dogs mean to them when they when they're able to pet them and stroke them and and uh, Raz is quite a little entertainer she likes to to do her tricks and roll over and and gets quite a laugh out of out of the the residents and she also does quite a bit of talking Raz do you want to just just give a roo or give a roo hey give a roo Razzy Roo, mm -hmm. little louder, mm -hmm. little louder, mm -hmm. <laughs> and she will, she will talk uh, quite expressively sometimes to, well, to me and to the residents, and uh, everybody gets a, quite a kick out of that as well. So, I think it's a very worthwhile program, and, and uh, actually, my husband visits as well for the Humane Society. He visits at Marion Residence in in uh, Preston with uh, one of the dogs every week as well. So we're trying to expand the program a little bit and um, hopefully we can do that in the next year or so and, and continue to, to make people happy in the homes and at, at the schools. Litters are born in our shelter constantly and your donations assist us to provide proper care, medication, and housing until the puppies or kittens are ready for their special places. We currently have six mother cats with kittens that will take time to be adopted. We also have a dog waiting patiently for her big day. Our shelter isn't nearly big enough to handle all that we need to do for the animals. This past year was extremely difficult for our animal protection agent, Tracy. No matter how much we try to educate, there are those that slip through the cracks. I'm Tracy Laraway, the Animal uh, Protection Officer here at the Cambridge and District Humane Society. And this beautiful, lovely little girl, uh, her name is now Callista. She was removed from a home on Monday due to her, uh, obviously, poor neglect. 
Um, the owner is uh, going to be charged with six counts of animal cruelty for this dog and a cat. Uh, I also removed a kitten and a, a rabbit from the home as well. So charges are still pending in this case. But as you can see very clearly, as she is demonstrating to you, um, very, very poor health. Uh, the owner could not show me any food in the house. This dog had been left in a dark cement basement um, full of her own feces and urine, no bed, no toys. Uh, neighbors intervened on the weekend and just went in and took this dog from the owner and took her over to the vet. Uh, I hooked up with the vet on the Monday and removed the dog from there. And she's getting all the love and attention she needs right now. And hopefully she'll start gaining weight any minute and uh, she'll be going out for adoption. But she's so lovely and she's so grateful, I think, and thankful for everyone that's intervened and is willing to uh, give her a chance. We sincerely appreciate those who advise us of disasters such as this one. Abused and neglected, underweight and underfed, but now in great shape and still going to improve. We will spay, neuter, and prepare this one. One of many that we are able to help find homes through your generosity. We are extremely grateful to our veterinarians. These wonderful men and women assist the shelter daily with dogs like Jean. Uh, before I, I begin, I, I would like to, to thank the, the people over at uh, Cambridge Humane Society for the opportunity to, to help dogs like Jeannie and uh, Dina. Um, both of these dogs have, have uh, had uh, extensive surgery and we're really, really, really fortunate to, to see them be virtually normal. Jeannie came to us and she had um, tail uh, lacerations and hawk lacerations that were uh, really very se severe and we had to amputate uh, a good portion of the tail and uh, we had to amputate um, uh, uh, the leg at the, the hawk and uh, then we had to go through an extensive period of, of recuperation, getting the, the stub to, to heal and, um, and that took a long time. But uh, at any rate, we, we were able to get that done and, and then we thought we'd go to the next step and get a, a prosthetic limb put on it. And we are so tickled to see her running around and, and behaving normally. We, we really are fortunate in that. And that's really uh, a great deal due to the Cambridge Humane Society. Without them giving us the opportunity and, and uh, working uh, with us, uh, these dogs wouldn't be able to, to do, in fact, they would have been euthanized. So we're, we're very fortunate and we're just really very happy uh, to have helped out and that's all thanks to the Cambridge Humane Society. Please donate to help our animals. Monthly gifts are great, but all gifts are appreciated. There's a card on your table tonight that will make your gifts count.